All right, welcome everyone to the CBCS Hot Hot List by Eric Norton, presented by the NY Warriors. You know what? Without further ado, I'm not even going to give you a bunch of yip yap. Let's just get this started. That's right, guys. Welcome, everyone, to Home of the NY Warriors, where we bring to you the hot list by CBCS Comics by my man Eric Norton. And this week, we got, like, another, like, kind of different list, you know, books that, you know, some some are norms, some are not. So, but, you know what, we're going to get through it. But before we start going on the list, I want to remind everybody, last week, we had a giveaway by my man Eric Norton. But there's only, like, about nine comments on that video, man. If you guys want to win that original Iron Man sketch, I'm going to give you one more opportunity, guys. Fill it up. I run the random the randomizer live this Saturday at 9:30 a.m. on Coffee and Comics, and we'll pick a winner for that. So you guys still got another. You got a few more days before Saturday, guys. So make sure you guys check last week's you know CBC Hollis and leave a comment there because that's the video I'm using for the giveaway. But before we get started again, I'm gonna go down the line and let you, my fellow NY Warriors, let you know where they're gonna be at and where you can find them. So I'm gonna start with my man Joker. What's up, Joker? Yo, yo, what's going on, man? You can find me on my channel, man. Uh, um, Joker, you know, hashtag East Meets West. Uh, you know, we got a show everywhere. We got three shows a week, Thursday, Friday, and then um, Sunday, man, on Thursday. Uh, no Combo Day Reviews. Uh, then on Friday, FOC with CBSI. And then on live podcast show at 7 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, guys. Uh, you can catch us there, man. And uh, other than that, I'm rolling with these guys. You already know, man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then we got my man Thoreau from Keep It Thoreau Comics in the house. You heard? Yep. Your boy Thurl's in the building, man. Again, another another dope CBCS hot list. Can't wait for it. And of course, you guys can come to Keep It Thorough Comics, guys, on YouTube. Check me out on IG too, man. I'm posting here and there whenever I can. But we do the indie spotlight show courtesy of CBSI, comicbookinvest.com, uh, every Tuesday night at 10 p.m., guys. So make sure you go and catch the rewind because I know this airs Wednesday mornings. So make sure you catch the rewind from last night if you didn't get a chance to. And then Thursday nights, the comic chop up, guys. We break down everything, all comic book news, movie news, all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. And let's get it started, man. Let's get it started. Yeah, guys. And the link for both their channels, guys, are going to be in the description below. So make sure you guys sub to me. Yeah, I should be sub to them. All right, guys. So we're going to get into it. Uh, you know, I'm going to just go right away. We're going to start with the first book on Eric's list today. Man, we got Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number one from August of 2017. And this is the first appearance of Teresa Parker, guys. So before we give our thoughts and opinions on the book, let me just read you a little bit about Eric wrote on the article. Guys, also remember the article is linked below. So if you want to follow along so you can see what we're, you know, going in the order that we're going. And, you know, you can read because I don't read everything that Eric says. That way you can get a full feel of the article yourself. Um, the link for it is in the description below. So he says here. Uh, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number one, gives readers the first comic book appearance of Peter's sister. Teresa Parker, yes, you read that right. Spider-Man has a sister. Who knew, right? Well, mm -hmm. to be fair, readers of the family business graphic novel knew, but that wasn't me. <laughs> the book nearly took a 1,300% jump in sales this week as Spider-Man collectors grabbed the first appearance from a secondary market as much as they could. So down the line, guys. I know I'm gonna start with Thor because I know Thoreau was um talking about this book a few weeks ago. So Thoreau, what are your thoughts on this book right here, man? Yeah, man. Um spoke about this pretty much like a month ago. So if you yeah. guys are looking at everything for FOC and looking at what's upcoming, I will say ASM currently not the best best stories. They're trying to kind of reignite the fire. They're bringing the uh, whole chameleon uh, storyline out right now, uh, which includes Teresa Parker. If you guys look at the synopsis of what's to come. Yeah, they officially announced, hey, she's uh, Peter Parker's going to have his sister, Teresa Parker, in here. She's going to be a part of this whole realm. Uh, that's the reason why I was speculating on this book. If you guys know, there is a hardcover book by the name of uh, Amazing Spider-Man Family Business. You guys can go pick it up. There's also a trade paperback because if you do want something to get graded, get that book right there. Again, that is the main reason why you're seeing this on the list, guys. It's because of Teresa Parker coming back into the stories. And by the way, she is not the biological sister of Peter Parker. She's adopted. So just want to put that out there. Yeah. And um, 
Joker, what are your thoughts on a spectacular Spider-Man number one? Peter Parker, spectacular. I, I I have this run. I have it in trade paperback. Uh, it, it was a good read. Uh, it, Chip Zdarsky, guys, you already know he's he's killing it, man. Uh, and, and the interior art done by Adam Kubert at that man. So I mean, I know ASM run right now by Nick Spencer. He's getting a little, little flack on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we might need a little flavor like Chip Zdarsky back on there on ASM, man. I think that would be amazing. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, but definitely, man. Uh, this is a good one to have. You know, I, I know about the first appearance of the system now. Now we see that, and um, and I read this and go to figure that. that you think I would? Yeah. I never thought of anything of it. So. Yeah, because sometimes we read these things and you don't like grasp yeah. everything. Yeah. You know, or some things are like a one-off, so you're not thinking down the line. Okay, wait, this may be something down the line. You know. What that's I mean? what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, man. Yeah. Like, you know, who would yeah. figure that this would be something? Now, that shout out to CBC, yeah. CBCS. Yeah. So there you go, man. Yeah, and definitely, man. Random, dude. It's just random yeah. how they kind of inserted her into this first. That's the reason why I say, hey, well, folks, check out Family Business. Family business will explain to you where she came from, uh, and that just pretty much that that's what made that bad. For that spectacular Spider-Man was just that introduction out of nowhere. Everybody's like, yeah. "Who the hell is this?" I haven't read Spider-Man since Dan Slott stopped, you know, stopped writing Spider-Man. That was the last thing we. You remember yeah. we were all into that the whole you know, mm -hmm. um, Goblin, and even before that, like, he started it all the way from issue number one i think on that run right um dan slot and that's when he you know when peter had the when he was like iron man like he had he had a business rich yep. guy and everything you know a, a, a little more mature spider-man you know i like that run you know? but let's see hopefully you know we get something good out, out of spider-man in the future all right so we're gonna move on to the second book in the list and you know the, for this the title i'm not title's not a surprise but the arthur is not a, i mean the title is not like a known title to it, but the, the art, there's no surprise that it's on this list. You'll see what I'm talking about. So we got Super Crooks number one here from October of 2012. Um, the reason it made the list, because it's the next Millar World property in line for production at Netflix. You know, so um, let me just go a little bit and, uh, and read what Eric wrote. He said, if you have been paying attention to the CBCS hot list at all or comic books in general, you would know Mark Millar is kind of a big deal. Here at the number two spot, we find Millar's Super Crooks number one. Super Crooks saw an uptake in sales of over 1,000% this week because, you know, it's the next um, property to be in line for Netflix, you know. But um, just real quick before I go down, you know, the line next, you guys, uh, you got to be careful with the Millar books because look at Jupiter's Legacy. You're right. Jupiter's Legacy got one season in Netflix, and it was reported that their contracts were, you know, terminated, right? So how that can affect the longevity of the book you know so i'm gonna go down the line mike what, what do you think about this one i mean you could say that what you want about jupiter's legacy i yeah. enjoyed it uh yeah but that definitely man mark millar's world uh millar's yeah, world with, yeah with the exclusive of of netflix definitely man uh the pick and choose when it comes to the millar uh you, you know he already done what he did with kick ass uh the hit girl that's something you never know he might do a spin-off of uh with a younger version because i you already know she's a little older now uh in other titles you know you have magic order we had on this list too so there's certain things that might stick to the wall to, to say you know what i mean yeah. uh with these millar books so this one right here you know i'm interested in yeah man yeah I if you can get them low get them low because you don't know if they're gonna if the production is gonna be done well or people yeah. receive it well you know and yeah. Thor, what are your thoughts on on it yeah another one man let's let's hope again jupiter's legacy it's okay for me it was okay mm -hmm. um I, I got to watch it on netflix uh, my, my biggest question out of all this, because I've never checked out Super Crooks, I'm very interested in reading and actually checking this out uh, and what it's all about. But, man, if some of this Malore work starts to fail, do you, do you honestly think that it's going to continue? You know, do you guys personally feel like it's, it's going to end up continuing further down the future where the Netflix are, or, or Netflix could possibly just drop the whole Malore work? So I'm very interested in this. I do want to read it before the show comes out. Uh, because I want to see what it's all about. Uh, again, yeah, reason to get it. Get it while it's hot because you never know what it could turn into. Uh, it's just like uh, Joker was just saying. Those guys got contracted for Jupiter's Legacy. The contracts were specifying, hey, you guys are going to get a amount of seasons. Uh, I know the actor Josh Duhamel, was, uh, he was pretty much waiting. He was like, oh, man, you guys sold me on this. I'm here for the long haul. Boom, next thing you know, it's, it's over. So you just can't. You know, you can't personally tell what's going to happen with this Millar World stuff. I'm hoping for the best because the guy could write. Yeah. The guy could write. So, yeah. I don't think you could judge it from one 
thing to another, you know, because like, they, they, the stories are completely different, you know, like Jupiter's Legacies to, you know, Super Super Crooks is totally opposite type of thing. So I just think we got to treat each one as what it is, its own property. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. exactly. uh, and I think I think we'll be all right, you know. All right. So, you know what? We're going to move it along to the, to the next book on Eric's list. And this one I didn't expect to see on here. You know, we got King James number one from DC Comics from August of 2004. And if you can see the little quote I put there, Space Jam 2, spec, question mark. Like, really, Space Jam 2 is going to, you know, going to make this book rise. So before we talk about it, let me just read a little bit of what Eric said, wrote here. He says, um, next on the CBCS hot list, we find a sports card collector's dream. If you guys don't know, Eric is a sports guy, is a card guy yeah. first before yep. comics. Uh, King James number one. This DC book was the promotional giveaway from Powerade back in 2004. For those of you who weren't aware, LeBron was a rookie during the 03 and 04 season. Thus, this kind of a rookie comic, in, in quotations, if you don't follow, don't worry. Sports cards are frickle. Available in 11 different covers. <laughs> Powerade drinkers had to send off the proof of purchase of three 32 ounce bottles to receive this book. <laughs> You know, and then he gives more stats of LeBron in there. You guys can read it in the article for yourselves. But, um, man, I, you know, I, there's nothing I can say about this book because I really don't know this book too well. But um, it's cool to see LeBron on a comic book, you know, in my opinion. What do you think, um, Joker, about this one? Yo, uh, King James, baby. I mean, this, it, it definitely got to be Space Jam 2 spec because it's not going to be the Lakers in 2021 spec, I tell you. That yeah. got eliminated, baby. <laughs> <laughs> bang, 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 bang. But, but nonetheless, though, this is a nice yeah. little uh, first appearance in uh, LeBron James in the DC universe, it looks like. Uh, yeah. And I did see I did see my boy Jock on that and on, on the cover. Yeah, Jock like is the cover, yeah. So, yeah, Jock is the cover, yeah. There you go, man. Dope, dope <laughs> thing, man. But yeah, never seen this book. Shout out to Eric, yeah. man, for that. Dope. Yeah. And uh, Thor, what are your thoughts on King James now? No more. We're not talking about King of the Golden State, all right? We're talking about LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to take a shot, my boy, King of uh, the Golden State. Nah, man, yo, no, no book, man. I mean, um, yeah, you have to send it in to, to Powerade, you know, your three little bottles and stuff like that. I remember this. Um, one of the biggest things about this book that just always bottled my mind was a man from Ohio, he's not from New York, so why, why the whole New York? You know, outline in front of him with the train, Brooklyn, yeah, yeah. Bridge, all that. Come on, man! It's really, they need to do something better. Um, yeah. But again, yeah, top, <laughs> awesome, awesome artist. Just, just didn't understand the concept behind that that whole freaking cover. I will say, how many of you guys can think that you know that that get you know that Powerade was gonna send a comic book to you looking at nine eight conditions? So I'm assuming that this book is probably like nine eight, you know, like non existent. Maybe mm -hmm. there might be one, two, or three copies out there. So yeah. I'd be on the hunt for that book at a nine eight at all costs. The only the only way those books will came probably good if they let like someone else distribute it for them. <laughs> you know? So but with that we don't know. We we'll have to check the the pop report on CBCS and, and see what they got on file, you know. And um yeah, so we're gonna move it along to uh, the fourth book on Eric's list. And this one, straight up, we'll talk about it. This is Doctor Strange number sixty from Marvel Comics of August. 1983 and you see there's no other information on there because this is not a key <laughs> you know there's nothing really on this book that makes it key so i'm gonna just write what um eric wrote on the list of why he, why 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 yeah, i'm curious. curious i'm curious i'm very yeah. curious eric <laughs> so he wrote not every book on the cbcs hot list is some grail that you'll only find on top you know on the top shelf at your lcs no in fact over the last several weeks there have been plenty of examples one can find in dollar bins definitely definitely right on that here's here at the number four spot is another example uh with dr strange issue number number 60 there isn't anything super special about this book other than some of its story arc aspects may come up in the mcu but that was more than enough to drive it drive its sales up over 750 percent this week mm. okay you know so yo, so mike what, what are your thoughts on this i that how much how much percent he said 750 percent that's that's wow that's okay who, who would have figured with this dollar book uh that that will happen but nonetheless it's a, it's a dope ass cover I, I i like uh monica rambo on the cover dr strange mm -hmm. scarlet witch and is that uh is that an evil dr strange or uh dracula i i don't know oh, yeah that's true you know but it, it's a dope ass cover i'm enjoying it i i like it yeah I like it yeah well that is because dr strange is, is in her he's in monica rambo's arms you see yeah, yeah, 
Yeah. So, and what what do you think? What do you what do you thought, Storo? I mean, dope dope cover, man. I mean, when it really comes down to it, Mike nailed it on the head. I don't even th think he knew, but yeah, that's Dracula. Oh, um, so oh, that, that little uh, story, uh, that little tidbit, it was uh, pretty much yeah. It, it was them like it had like a whole vampire background. I can't. I think mm -hmm. um, Hannibal King from Blade is in that is in this little arc. Uh, again, I I really don't know where the hell is gonna go with that. To be honest with you, if they're talking about vampires, mm -hmm. um, again, just badass cover, mm -hmm. badass cover. Sometimes it doesn't need to be all about the guts of the book. I see, you know, it, yeah. it, it sometimes just be a cover by, it, but uh, I, I alone yeah. would purchase it just for that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but, yeah. But, you know, the, the MCU is leading towards um, like their darker side with the whole you saw with WandaVision, mm -hmm. with the you know the the dark you know the book and the whole spec with Kathan or whatever and all that and yeah. you know, he was the reason that we have like werewolves vampires and stuff like that so hey, it could be part of that 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 whole speculation wave you know what i mean but to me this book still is dollar bin fodder yeah. <laughs> you know like I, there's no uh, way i'll be paying even five bucks for this book you know yeah, what I mean? wouldn't, wouldn't but, you guys think it'd be crazy though if they introduced dracula in like the multiverse movie it'd be i think it'd be so awesome to bring the legion of monsters period yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be dope yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. And if that happens, and now you know this, this book, everybody's going to be like, hey, ain't a dollar been no more. <laughs> yeah, so, no, yeah, true. It, you know, that's a whole nother fandom, too. You know, Mon the Universal Monsters yeah. themselves have their own fandom. So, you know, that just expands everything. And, you know, that's what Marvel's trying to do. They're trying to rule the world. <laughs> you know, so we down to the last book in our list. But before we get to that last book, guys, I just want to show you guys real quick that CBCS, that's right, they're doing, you know, in a world where we have grading companies raising prices, we got the clear choice giving you a discount, baby. 5% off in the month of June with the saving June code, guys. And also, I just want to give you a couple of more discounts from, you know, our sponsors, our fellow people that we do business with. And of course, my man e -Rob with the Warriors 10 code, guys, 10% off your pressing grading. Um, Angie, owner Skeleton Comics.com, guys. 10% off, use the one-off code of New York Warriors or EMW10 or Thoro10, guys. Three codes, three chances to get 10% off. And last but not least, geekyswagshop.com, guys. 10% off, NY Warriors, reoccurring code. You can always use it. Prime Studio statues, DC Direct statues. Just check out the website. Links are in the description below, guys. And uh, we're going to go to the last book on the list. We got, bam, we got Thor number two from Marvel Comics of January 2015. First full appearance of Jane Foster as Thor. And I'm going to go, I'm going to just read real quick what, you know, Eric wrote an article. So he says, we're rounding out the CBCS hot list this week with yet another Marvel book, but that's okay. In this case, Thor number two, this book received a nice 700% bump in sales as it landed on a few different specs, spec lists. With this in mind, with Thor, Love and Thunder on the horizon, this book offers readers Jane Foster in her first full appearance as Thor. All of her previous appearances were merely cameos. So not a bad book to grab now before the release of the film next year. Yeah, definitely. If, you know, this is what you're into, grab it now. Like I always said, you still have a chance before you see a trailer. Mm -hmm. Once you see a trailer and you see that character that's featured, that's when right there is when you sell if you have it, <laughs> you know. So I'm going to go down the line and I'm Joker, let me know what, you, what are your thoughts on tour number two. Oh, number two, yeah, like you said, man, the before the tra trailer drops, get your copies. But, but then you then get to go, don't go spending crazy money on these books, you know. Get the best you can, man, for your buck, man. Uh, issue number one was the more sort of after because it's the cover, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But this one right here, you know, it's, you know, you can get this one too, you know. Um, so yeah, man, and the dope, dope storyline by um, Jason Aaron at, at that yeah. too, man, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'm cool with this book, I'm good, I like it on the list. Yeah. The story was good in the I read that this run. I just I didn't like like towards the ending, man. It really like I don't want to talk about the issues I had with it, but I didn't like the ending of this this story arc. Uh Thor, what are your thoughts, man? Oh, freaking dope book, man. Dope book. Um we we all seen uh, Natalie Portman. Mm -hmm. Uh she she was taking that venom juice that Bane takes. Um, <laughs> it just got diesel as hell out of nowhere. Yeah. And yeah, you guys see her. I mean, great book. Uh, and and again, uh you definitely there there is no way in hell, and I keep saying this, there's no way in hell because I love Thor, no way in hell that you're not going to see Natalie Portman portraying Valkyrie or something later down the road. So to see this book and to pick it up and get it at a good price right now while it lasts, let me tell you, some folks, you never know, they might fall in love with a character and what she's bringing to the table as far as the movie. Mm -hmm. um, and those are the game changers, and that's what leads on. I mean, look at it. Look, look into the future. 
you're going to start seeing a force something that they've been talking about i mean so many different all-female teams so i really would not sleep on this book this is a great damn book to scoop up so yeah, you saw you saw you saw a preview of a force and endgame when they had all the females together mm-hmm. like i'm gonna get through this we got her back and you saw all the female characters that was pretty dope to see like yeah. that you know because I mean? all of them were badass in that in that um and as much as i don't really like captain marvel I thought it was badass, <laughs> you know. Right, was right, go, right, yeah, right, right there. Go. Everything I felt went out the window when I saw that scene. You know, that was the top ass scene. But um, yeah, there, guys, that's it, guys. The CBCS hot list for this week, guys. Shout out to my man Eric Norton putting out a dope list as always. And remember, all my guys, Thoreau, Joker, everybody's in the description below. And remember, remember Saturday, 9 30 a.m. Comics and Coffee. We're gonna run that randomizer. Last week, CBCS hot list. Make sure you get a comment in that video so you can have a chance to win that, that original art piece, that original Iron Man art piece. And that's it, guys. Until next time. Peace. <laughs>